open a browser window and go to track.bhs.net. Enter the username and password that was provided with your order to log into your account. The screen will automatically center on your tracker's last reported position, plotted on a map. Navigating the map is similar to most internet-based mapping systems. The zoom and directional controls are in the upper left corner of the screen, and you can change how the map looks by clicking the plus icon in the upper right corner. Clicking on the device icon will create a pop-up window that gives you some information about the device. Start indicates the time and address the tracker reported from for the first time on that day. Last will contain the information from its last reported position. You can use the Geofence tab to create a quick geofence around the location that you're looking at. Just choose what type of geofence you want, give it a name, choose if it's for entering, exiting, or both, enter the size, and click Create Geofence. You can also use the links in the bottom of this window to zoom in, bring up a street view of this location if there's one available, or bring up a live tracker window. Live Tracker will display only this device's information on a separate map. This feature is most useful for users with multiple trackers on their account. The tracking controls are located on the dashboard across the bottom of the screen. Use the View Change Device button to choose what devices display on the map if you have multiple. Click Breadcrumb Trail to show all the locations your device is reported from. Each point represents a locate, and you can click on them to view information the same way you can for the last locate as we went over earlier. You can get a street view for the most recent locate if it's available from this point as well. Use the calendar to change what date you view information from. Simply click on a highlighted date to choose a single day or click on date range to see tracking from multiple days. To return to viewing today's information, just click on the small calendar icon. You can also adjust alerts for geofences, excessive speed, presses of the panic button, and motion. Let's set up a geofence. Click on the Geofence button to enter the Alert Configuration tab to choose when alerts will be sent. Select the device you want to add a geofence around and click on the days you want to receive alerts. If you only want the geofence to generate alerts during certain time periods, during work hours for example, enter a start and end time. If you would like, you can customize the icon that will appear on the map for an alert location. Finally, enter an email address or press the plus icon to enter a cell phone number where you would like alerts sent. Click the Create New Geofence tab to set up your geofence. Choose the shape you would like to create and draw it on the map. Circle and polygon geofences are simply virtual perimeters. Root geofences are a little bit different. Draw straight lines on the map and you'll be alerted when the device gets a certain distance off route. Whichever you've created, give the geofence a name and hit Save. Now, you'll want to make your geofence active. Go to the Assign tab and look at the list of geofences you've created. Choose one by clicking on the checkbox next to it. Now, just choose if it applies to the device entering or exiting the area, or both. If dealing with a root geofence, you'll have to enter a root buffer, or distance off route before you receive an alert. Now choose the dates and times it will be active, and hit Save. The geofence will now appear in the Assigned Geofences box. Once done, be sure to hit the Save button before leaving the window. The View Geofence tab simply allows you to view the geofences you've created. Speed, Panic, and Motion Alerts all work similarly, allowing you to choose what days and hours alerts will be sent. Finally, you can run historical reports by date. To run a report, just click on the type you would like to see, choose your date range, and press the search button. You may export any of these reports in Excel format to be viewed offline. This has been a basic tutorial for the Spark Nano and BrickHouse Security tracking platform. For more information, you can click on the live support link, go to help.brickhousesecurity.com, or contact our support team by phone.